Hi, I'm Jared Hatfield, and in this edition of Tablet Tips, I'm going to teach you how to activate your Dino account and install the software on your tablet PC. In order to activate your account, you need to go to ulink at ulink.louisville.edu. Once there, type in your username and password and log in. You'll be taken to the main page. Scroll down, and in the center column, there's a link, Computer Accounts. When you click on that link, you'll be brought to this page. Scroll down. You need to check the two boxes, the Active Directory checkbox and the Dino checkbox, as seen here. Once you've selected those two boxes, click Save. This will activate your account. Once you've activated your account, you'll be able to log into Dino after a few minutes. In order to download Dino, you simply go to Dino.com. Once you're at Dino.com, there's a download link. And on this download link, there's multiple versions of Dino. The University of Louisville is currently using version 5.0, so I will click the download link there. Now here, you get to select your type of user. In this case, it's going to be a student user. Now you're going to fill in this information and click the download link. I'm going to skip past this part. Just click the download button after I entered in my information and it redirected me to this page. I click there to start my download and I save the file. Alright, the download's finished. Here it is on my desktop. I'm simply just going to click open or double click it. Since I'm running Vista, it's going to ask me for elevated privileges. After clicking continue, it's going to start the installer. This is a very simple procedure, just clicking next after each item appears. Here we're going to click the next button. Agree to the end user's license agreement, after reading it of course. And now here we're going to install Dino Vision and Dino Monitor. And once we click the install button, the installation will begin. This may take a few moments depending on the speed of your computer and some other variables. Now I am going to select to restart my computer and I will be back in a moment to show you how to continue configuring Dino. Now that I've restarted, I've completed the Dino installation. I can delete the setup file because I won't need it anymore. And now I can launch Dino by double clicking on the icon. Now that Dino is launched, I have to change the communication setting. This computer already had Dino configured, but I'm going to re-enter the URL anyway. The URL you need to enter is dino.spd.louisville.edu. Once you've entered the URL, click Apply, and then the test. The te communication test should come back successful if you have connected to the Dino server. Now click OK. Sign in with your username and password and you are ready to use Dino.